Well, the number one mistake that my department, as well as myself, what we see is uh, distracted driving or texting uh, while driving or on the cell phone while driving. We always have that one to two second reaction time um, normally as we're driving. That's even without a cell phone or any kind of distraction in itself. Um, once you get a, a cell phone involved, uh, you have to add at least three or four seconds added on to that. It's once they're texting with that three or four second, they're not paying attention to what's going on around them. Even the obvious things, as such as if, if somebody's crossing the street. Stop! Oh my God, what are you doing? You almost hit that little kid. You almost hit him. License registration insurance, please. Do you know why I stopped you? Is it because I was texting? Yes, it was. Did you see the people that were in the crosswalk? I didn't until I got too close. Okay. Just hang tight, okay? I'll be right back. I'm going to go write you a ticket for this. Okay, I understand. I have to accept what I did. Okay, here's your information. Okay. This is the ticket I said I was going to write. It's for being on the cell phone and texting, okay? Okay. I'm really sorry. That's not going to happen again. Okay. Make sure of it. Okay. We're talking criminal aspects of the case to where the person can be charged with negligent uh, homicide, uh, vehicle homicide. Uh, because what's, once we conduct an investigation and we find out that a cell phone was a factor in it, we will subpoena the phone records of that person. Three words. It can wait. The other day we got pulled over for texting while driving and we want to spread the word to not text and drive so we were just wondering if you and your class could take our place. Yeah, yeah. Let me ask them about it, get their input. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I just received a pledge from Lauren and it's regarding the dangers of texting while driving. So what this pledge states is that you will not text while driving. Would you be interested in taking this pledge? Raise your hand if you would be. All right, good. This is a story I'd like to share about Driving your car when nothing be caring I'd like to take a minute if you don't mind So I can spread the word, don't text and drive Town NJ, where I reside. I'm hanging with the girls and all of the guys. We're chilling in school, just waiting in class. Driver's ed test, that's something I'll pass. The teacher comes around with all of the tests, and I'm ready with a pen. I'ma do my best. But right before I start, she says one more thing. There's extra credit now, and you'll need to think about a situation with a friend. Doesn't have to be real, you can just pretend. Your friend has been texting and driving all day. So what do you say? Well, here's what I say. Look, man, I don't think it's safe to text and drive And no offense, but this might just save our lives Cause people die from this every day So would it kill you to just put the phone away? That I'm trying to spread hopefully is adequate Want to do my best to prevent as many accidents As possible through a quick little rhyme So we can save a life one at a time Please join the movement There's always room for improvement As a driver and influence All the people who are texting and driving Put the phone down Please do the right thing Do it for your friends and your family Every day go on to live happily Cause each day there is another tragedy The more accidents that occur is just sad to see well, thank you for your time, hopefully together we can all save lives, this is a problem that we can all fight, please spread the word, don't text and drive.
be cool, then don't text and drive. Fresh Prince of the Road. Please join the movement, don't text and drive campaign. Encourage others to not text and drive. You can save a life. Here at Bordentown, we wanted to be unique in the way we went about spreading the word of Don't Text and Drive. So we had four main projects, the Red Ribbon Pledge, where the students and teachers would sign this pledge that says that they won't uh, use their phone while they are driving, and that if they're in a car with somebody while the driver is texting, they'll tell them to put it away. And they'll also try and tell other people about the dangers of texting and driving. PE Fun Day was a day where we had all state agents come in and students would practically sign their name using a thumbprint on a sign saying that they won't text and drive and they're aware of the dangers of texting and driving. But the day was also about the students getting together playing a huge game, huge tournament of Savior Tag, which is a fun game here in the school that we all enjoy. So it was a memorable experience for all of the students, so it'll really stick with them. Here in Bordentown, definitely everyone knows about the campaign. I'd say at least a quarter of our school is actually involved in the project, which is a huge turnout, especially for something that's voluntary. Being at a small school as Bordentown, I mean, very tightly put together in a family, and it's definitely a strong movement. We installed a sign at the front of the school that says, don't text and drive, Bordentown wants you alive, so the students can see that as they're leaving school, just as a friendly reminder. The music video is a project that everyone has been excited about. It's been a lot of fun to put together, and it's just a fun way, a catchy way, for students to get involved and to remember the experience. We didn't want our movement to just be here in Bordentown, New Jersey. We wanted to go worldwide, so be sure to check out our application for iOS. Don't text and drive. Bordentown wants you alive.